Have you ever heard of the Scooby-Doo theory? Daniel, don't you dare ruin Scooby-Doo for me. Okay, so there's a theory that Scooby-Doo was a Russian spy. What? Okay, so everybody knows Scooby-Doo is one of the greatest cartoons ever created, but it was created in 1969 during the time of the Cold War and the space race. What was the space race again? So the space race was a race between the US and Russia to see who could get a human to space first. Okay, I remember this now. But Russia didn't want to risk sending humans, so instead they successfully sent dogs to space. So you ever wonder why Scooby's so smart and can do human things like talk and walk on two legs? Why? So the theory is that Russia scientifically created dogs that were highly intelligent so they could send them to space. And Scooby is one of those dogs, but he failed all of his tests and training because of how distracted he got by food. Typical Scooby-Doo. Yeah, so instead, they sent him to America to be a Russian spy dog. But he ran away from his Russian owners, and the U.S. found out that Scooby was on the loose in the U.S. Oh my gosh! And this is why the original show is called Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Is because he's on the run from the CIA. Well, I'm glad you didn't ruin Scooby-Doo for me. You're welcome. So I have a theory about the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Wait, what? So you know in the show Loki, how they call the different versions of Loki variants? Which is basically showing us the multiverse, how there's different versions of the same character. Yeah. And you know how it's rumored that Tobey Maguire is going to be in the new Spider-Man movie? Dude, I'm going to freak out if that actually happens. So this is where the theory comes in. You know how in every single Spider-Man movie, we see Uncle Ben and they show how he dies? Yeah. But in Tom Holland's version of Spider-Man, we've never seen what Uncle Ben looks like. Right. What if Tobey Maguire in Tom Holland's variant timeline was actually Uncle Ben? And when Tom Holland sees Tobey Maguire Spider-Man for the first time he's gonna get really emotional because he looks just like his uncle ben because toby mcguire spider-man is actually a variant of uncle ben in tom holland's timeline wait that would be so crazy if they connect both universes like that it would make the movie better because you would see like this relationship that tom holland has with his uncle ben again so I have a Lilo and Stitch theory. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, it's kind of dark, but remember at the beginning of the movie, Lilo gets in a huge fight with her Hula classmate because she calls her crazy. Oh yeah, the mean girl with the glasses, right? Yeah, so this happens because Lilo explains that every Thursday, she has to feed Pudge the Fish a peanut butter sandwich because she believes he controls the weather. Yeah. Okay, so the theory is that Lilo does this because she doesn't want anyone to die. Wait, how does dying have anything to do with this fish? Okay, so later in the movie, right, Lilo explains to Stitch how her parents died in a huge car accident that was caused by a huge rainstorm. Oh yeah. So she she feeds Pudge the fish to keep him happy so he doesn't cause any more storms and hurt anyone because she believes he controls the weather. Dang, that's really sad. Right? And when Lilo was telling her class that Pudge controls the weather, her hula instructor and all the adults in the room seemed super shocked because they know that she does this because her parents died in the storm. Every time I've watched Lilo and Stitch, I never thought that scene was important, but now it makes sense. Right? Have you heard of the Tangled Theory? No. What if I told you there's a theory that would totally change the whole movie? Wait, what? So you know how the evil mom stole Rapunzel from the castle because she wants her hair because it keeps her young? Yeah. So this is where the theory comes in. If the evil mom never told Rapunzel when her birthday is, Rapunzel would have never ran away from her. Wait, why? So you know every year on her birthday how her dad will send those lamps into the sky, hoping that one day Rapunzel will come back? Yeah, I remember that. And every year on Rapunzel's birthday, she's like looking at the lamps. It's like, oh my gosh, those are meant for me because it's my birthday. Yeah. But if the evil mom would have just told her her birthday was a different day, she would have never thought those lamps were for her and she would have never went out to go try to see if those were for her wait what the heck all the evil mom had to do was never tell her her birthday and she would still be with the evil mom and the evil mom would still be stealing her hair oh my gosh that makes a lot of sense these disney villains are pretty dumb huh they need some help man